<laughs> we just made these four full wall decor pieces using our Glowforge and our DTF printer and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build and I make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week we're making some alphabet soup, a little DTF on MDF PDQ 123 ABC. <laughs> this is a mouthful. All of that is correct, although it didn't sound like that was nothing but a word jumbo. But yes, we are doing some home decor items this week. So normally we do our front porch, front porch welcome signs and door rounds. But this week we're going to do some home decor signs and we're going to bring them inside and we're just going to use our DTF printer and then we're going to use our Glowforge. And I'm really excited about this project. I think they're going to be really cute. And then I'm sure I'm going to want some for Christmas and spring. Oh, yeah. I have so many ideas. It's a whole reason I bought the printer. Yes, it is why we brought the printer. Yes. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some quarter inch MDF. People always ask us, what kind of MDF do you use? We use the light stuff. The dark stuff seems to be a little more dense, it's harder to cut through, and it's a lot more smoky. Yeah, and sometimes you can only find the dark stuff, but keep your eye out for the light colored MDF. This it, is a great example to show you guys. It's like gold. And then, of course, we need our DTF film for our direct-to-film transfers. We also needed some Starbomb thick super glue and some accelerator. So we have to work fast. And of course, we need our paints. Step two, we're going to cut our box. We're going to take that quarter-inch MDF over to the Glowforge and cut it out. But first, we're going to stop by MakerCase.com. This is where we go to make all of our frames and boxes. We're going to make a 10-inch by 10-inch by one and a quarter inch deep box. We're gonna export it as a SVG, import it right into our Glowforge app. Before we cut our board, we're gonna paint and mask our board. We're gonna go ahead and paint our board white because it's easier to paint black over white. We're going to mask it. We're gonna cut and score some lines and we'll be able to remove only the tape we want with the black areas and then we'll be able to paint over that. We'll show you how that looks in a moment. And to make our cuts in the Glowforge, I'm going to use a thick draft board settings. Step three, we're going to make our prints. Kit put together our image in Illustrator, and then I exported the background as a PNG for the printer. I separated the words and the accents out and exported those as an SVG for the Glowforge. Our settings in our RIP software, we used 65% color, 200% white, and then for our white settings, we used 100% white behind every pixel. And remember, you'll want to print these with your image mirrored because you're going to add glue on the back, flip it over, and adhere it to the board. Step four, we're going to press our prints. Now that our images are all shaked and baked, we're gonna slap it up, flip it, and press it down. We're gonna press each one of them for 10 seconds at 300 degrees. 10 seconds is such a small number, it throws me every time. Ooh, look how smoothly that peels. Step five, now we make our accents. We're gonna take the quarter inch MDF back over to the Glowforge one more time and we're gonna cut out our words and accents that we exported as an SVG. And then we're gonna take our DTF backers, put them back in the Glowforge, and we're gonna add score marks so we know where these words and accents go on our backers. We're gonna use the board that we cut it out of earlier. We're gonna put the board in there. This way we know it's straight, and we're gonna use the cardboard score settings. I just wanna score it lightly. This way we'll have perfect letter placement when we go to put the letters down. Step six. Now we paint. We're gonna paint our sides, accents, and words. Uh, not using this brush though, it's too big. Remember we talked about the masking on the sides. So we've got a cool little lattice pattern here that we're going to paint over. So we're gonna remove the masking for the sections that I want painted black. We'll leave the masking on the areas that we wanna remain white. We'll paint it 
and then peel the whole thing up, revealing our lattice pattern. Kim got a little crazy and a little daring. She left all of the words in the frame that we used to cut out the words. And she's trying to use a roller to get in there. She's <laughs> living, living dangerously. No, I'm just a skilled painter. The trick with painting inside the frames is you want to make sure you keep tape on the back so that the words stay level with the top of the frame. The harder you have to press the roller, the more likely you're going to get paint oozing into the sides. You want to keep a fairly dry roller and you want to keep the cut pieces level with the frame piece. Step seven, time to assemble it. We're going to use that Starbond Thick and the accelerator to glue together the sides. Then we're going to add the top. Then we'll glue on all of the words and the accents to make it pop. And now for this MDF, when you add the accelerator, it'll look like it's drying before he ever gets to place the piece down on the frame. But don't worry, it still works and it's gonna hold that frame right where you set it. You get about two seconds of working time, but after that, it's good to go. You can pick it up and move it and not have to wait for that glue to dry for 30 seconds to a minute. And two seconds is no lie. One of them was slightly wonky and I tried to pound it into place. No lie. All right, what do you think? Pretty easy, huh? Looking pretty cool. I think my favorite one is the flowers or the, the leaves. The leaves, yes, he was so big copy. on the leaves. My favorite is the argyle pattern here oh. with the little glasses and the bow tie. It's so hipster looking. I think it's very cute. And I think that pattern down the side really set it off. I yes. mean, bam, yes. bam. I don't know. We're thinking about offering these at the farmer's market, but we're also thinking about offering these as a kit. Yeah. Now I'm thinking, that I DTF it before it goes out in the kit? No. No, I think that we can send the DTF transfer so that you can try DTFing and see, DTFing Whoa, is now kid. a verb. You can yeah. try and add your transfer yourself so you can see how these this DTF works. These yeah, things I mean, are like, great. That's my favorite part. My favorite part is that it's like 10 seconds, instant gratification, yeah. I peel it off, it's looking cool. Yeah, still, I yeah. I don't wanna share that with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right big thanks to all of our patrons we love you guys i'll put this file up for you guys here in a couple of minutes but uh i really enjoy talking to you guys i love using you guys as testers for my files like uh the other day i sent some files out that i hadn't tested yet but i was hoping that you guys might and you did and you gave me a lot of feedback and i enjoy that i love that <laughs> i fixed it up made the file way better. Well, we're about out of time, so if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it building and make it again. Oh, and join us on Tuesdays where we do test cut Tuesdays. This is where I don't use the patrons as a guinea pig. I am my own guinea pig. And, and Tuesdays, if you that's our fun interactive time, oh, so yeah. if you have questions or I don't know, Comments. just want to come chat with us? Just want come to see chat with us on the live. Yeah, come see what's up. Tell us what the temperature is in your area. <laughs> I love hearing that. <laughs>